otters and butterflies are based on the southern edge of Dartmoor, just between Exeter and Plymouth. And we're a very small educational place to visit. We have a strong conservation bias and we hope our visitors come along, learn a little bit about what we do and how we do it and why we do it and obviously have a, a good time as well. Essentially we've got a, a nice butterfly house here where the different tropical species of butterflies live. We also have an area outside where we keep our otters and we have a small uh, reptile collection and a nice uh, leaf cutting ant farm as some people call it which is very very interesting people are fascinated by those and we have a collection of fish and uh, amphibians as well here and we have the otters outside in a, in a separate area and the pools and the enclosures that they live in have all been designed specially to give the maximum benefit to the otter and lots of stimulation and interest obviously it's great for children but it suits all the family really and we're kind of all weather although the, the otters are outside they don't mind rainy days uh, but the butterfly house is all undercover so certainly on a wet day this is a good place to come. For me this place is different and brilliant because you don't look at the animals and the creatures that we have here through glass really. Uh, certainly in our butterfly house here you're part of the habitat so you don't physically look at it you're actually in it and that makes a big difference and similarly when our visitors are outside looking at our otters we've made it so you can get very very close to them and that gives you the real opportunity to appreciate them, to look at them, to study them and to enjoy them to their full. The South Devon Railway of today runs between Thomas and Buckfast Lee and is uh, the original branch line that used to run all the way to Ashburton. We've got a, a fleet of locomotives and carriages that date back uh, really to the early part of last century. Most of the carriages that we actually use that the public travel in come date from about the 1950s. What we're really trying to do here, I think, is, is create a living museum. So it's an opportunity for people not just to see things that date back from a, another age, but actually experience them and, and travel as they used to. So uh, the locos are run very much in the traditional fashion with the driver and farm and, and the guards, and everybody tries to, to look the part in correct uniforms dating back from the 1930s and 50s. So we've got a workshop gallery where the members of the public can look on to the workshop and see what's going on in there, see how the steam engines are being repaired, see how the wheels are turned and also see how the boiler plates are made. Well the steam engines, all of them they've got here, they've all got characters of their own really. I mean you hear from the drivers, you know, they'll come back on a particular engine and they'll either complain about something or other like not working or if it is working it'll be doing it in a slightly quirky way and there'll be another one say oh I love that engine. Um, and they've all got characters and everyone seems to have their favourite. The location couldn't be better here really, we're located in the heart of South Devon alongside the very picturesque River Dart and in fact if you travel from Buckfastley to Totnes you will travel along the banks of the river uh, through parts of the scenery that you can only see from the train. There are no roads, no footpaths which give the same views that we do and it's become a truly rural railway icon. It's known not just in this country but all over the world as the quintessential Great Western branch line. Totnes Rare Breeze Farm is a small family run attraction uh, based on the outskirts of Totnes where we focus on our rare breeds of animals. Some of our most famous residents we have here are owls, so we've got nine owls on show to the public of various sizes. We have red squirrels, uh, guinea pigs for the kids to cuddle. We've also got alpacas, a couple of donkeys, as well as lots of sheep and goats which you get up close to, uh, go in and feed and pet. A lot of the rarer breeds of farm animal that you get are possibly not as productive as some of the larger breeds um, and so they tend to die out, um, you lose them. So here we're just trying to uh, give a bit of conservation, a bit of breeding effort to try and bring them back into the public eye a little bit more so they can be a bit more appreciated for what they are. We're at the Totnes end of the South Devon Steam Railway and you can ride on the steam train down to us. We've got a lovely cafe on site as well with a lot of homemade produce, homemade cakes, uh, really fresh food. Um, you can sit outside in the cafe garden, enjoy the sunshine and watch the steam trains come on in. 
We're really well suited for smaller children, for little children. We're a very small, compact space, so plenty to keep their interest. Um, but it's children of all ages, really. We get groups um, coming from schools, and also the adults love it here as well. I think they can get more out of it than the children sometimes. So really a place for all ages and families. Mm -hmm.